Well, on this week's show, we kind of take a little run around the northwest part of the area and check out the cities of Marysville, Indian Lake, Bell Fountain. And I got to tell you, we found some pretty interesting things like here at the Honda Heritage Museum is just one of the great things that you're going to see on today's show. We checked out some great places to hang out around the Indian Lake area. And boy, if you love pizza, we stopped by a pizza shop that is expanding by leaps and bounds. The owner even had a conversation with President Trump lately. I'm Mike Kilburn, and along with Renee Warner, we're out and about on the U.S. 33 corridor. Five, four, three, two, one. to stop by the Honda Heritage Museum and learn quite a bit about Honda. You know they're the largest manufacturers of engines in the world and just some of the other products that they have. This is an amazing museum and we were happy to spend a little bit of time here and learn about this from Eric Mock. So we are at the Honda Heritage Center. What was the basis for Honda to create something like this? What we wanted to do is, since Honda began here in Marysville, Ohio, at least in North America, we wanted to create a place to tell the story of why we're here. I mean, we're such a big presence in central Ohio, but a lot of people don't, you know, don't know what we do here. A lot of people don't understand the scope of what Honda does in North America. And it's a really interesting story of how we got started and, you know, Governor Rhodes getting involved back in the 70s. So instead of just putting together a museum, maybe, a, you know, a line of cars and a line of bikes, we wanted to do something that told the story about why we're here. And that's what we try to do here. What are some of the highlights for visitors to come and see and enjoy this? And what kind of time should they count on to come here and, and enjoy this? We try to put a lot of product into a little space. Um, so you can get through here in about 45 minutes and see everything and, and read everything, take everything in. But there's everything from the very first motorcycle that was ever made here, uh, made in 1979, to things that were made just a year or two ago. You know, the, the Acura NSX is right behind us, for example, or the Honda Jet, and everything in between. So we've tried to hit a little bit of everything, tell the entire story about Honda's products, and do it in a, a very succinct way in a very small space. Give us some contact information. You know, it's one of those things, it's one of those very treasures we didn't know was out here. This is fantastic. So let's get some folks out here to take a look at this. Well, thanks, Mike. We're just off Route 33, head out of Dublin, head toward Bell Fountain, and uh, you get off at Honda Parkway, and we're right there. Go to hondaheritagecenter.com. It has all the information. You can look up uh, chances to have tours. Uh, you can have self-guided tour. You can have guided tours come through anytime. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4. We are open on select Saturdays, but all that information is on the website. Fantastic, Eric. I'll tell you, great, great information. Thanks so much for having us out. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for coming. We're on our trip to the Bell Fountain uh, Indian Lake region. We stopped by Desperados. You know, they say, come here as a stranger and leave as a friend. And there's a lot of reasons for that. We talked to John Wackerman and he told us why. Well, I see it's a bar and grill. And uh, I saw a sign out front about breakfasts, right, you know, breakfast right off the bat. But let's let's talk a little bit about what food you're going to find here and about the breakfast. Okay. We open up at 7 a.m., seven days a week. Uh, we do breakfast until 11 during the week, and then Saturday and Sunday, breakfast until noon. Uh, very busy on the weekends for breakfast. Have a full menu with sandwiches and several items. Uh, Thursday night is our bike night and wing night. We do about 12 to 1400 wings on Thursday nights. Fridays are all you can eat fish. It runs all day and 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then Saturday we do baby back ribs until 8 p.m. And Sundays we're famous for our 16 ounce New York strips that we do Sunday afternoons. We'll get some folks to come down for bike night at least at Columbus. Yeah. It'd be a nice ride out here yeah. actually. Yeah, the weather's good. We fill up the parking lot with bikes usually on Thursday. So. Well, I understand you also have live entertainment here as well. Yep. Yep, on uh, we have entertainment Tuesday through Saturday. We have something every night. Uh, we have music trivia on Tuesdays. Wednesday's a karaoke night. 
uh, Thursday bike nights we have live bands every Thursday Friday and Saturdays live bands so pretty much every night of the week almost we have something going on with entertainment well, you know what? Great trip to come out here. Enjoy some of the food. Enjoy some of the live music. Give us some contact information where we can find you. We're on the web at DesperadosBarAndGrill.com. Uh, Facebook, same thing, Desperados. Um, get on there and like us, and you'll see all our updates. We keep all our events updated weekly with all the entertainment. And uh, our, our address out here is 6857 Lima Street in Huntsville, Ohio. And we're, we're right on the way to Indian Lake. So stop and get some breakfast or stop on your way home Sunday and get a, get a big New York strip. Well, that does sound good. John, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. The Logan County History Center has something for everyone. It's not just Logan County's history, it's everyone's history. We learned about this large display of history from Todd. Well, tell us all about what is the Logan County History Center? The History Center uh, has three buildings. The Orr Mansion, which was built in 1906, is what you see from the street on Columbus Avenue. And attached to that is the Logan County Museum, which back in the 60s through the 80s was the Latham Nursing Home. And then attached to that in the rear is the Logan County Transportation Museum, which we opened back in 2014. Well, it is really something to see because it's all one. So when you come, you can really see it all. And we're standing in the Transportation Center, correct? Yes, we are. We're in the Center of the Transportation Museum from the late 1890s up through 1960s. Belfast was a huge railroad town, but we have other transportation history. So we made it around. It looked like a roundhouse, but then in each bay, we have a different type of transportation history that was here in Logan County. Why should people come here and visit the museum? Uh, local people, they can learn about their local history, but when we've had bus tours and people love it because they realize that our history is their history. A lot of other places had were railroad towns. Um, we have up in the museum, we have a, a one-room school room, people like that. We have a toy room, so it's kind of, the, it's Logan County because Logan County kids played with them, um, but they're, you know, everybody um, has toys. Uh, we have an Indian room, a Native American room. We had a very important history here in Logan County with the Indians. Blue Jacket had a village here in Bell Fountain. Uh, the Greenville Treaty Line ran here. A lot of different things like that. So regardless of what your interest is in history, I think you'll find something here that you'll enjoy. Oh, definitely. How can we find out more information about the Logan County History Center? Well, um, you can call us at 937-593-7557 or go to our website, loganhistory.org. Um, at that, we have information information about the museum and history center, but also some um, information about our history, Logan County's history. Well, located only about 50 minutes from Columbus is Froggies on the Lake. And you talk about a great time. Look behind me at this pool bar. But you don't find these everywhere, I, and it would be a great time. A wonderful lineup of live music and some wonderful nights for food. We talked to Ross Jenkins, told us more. I was telling you earlier, you know, it looks like some of the places I see it put in bay. So it, it's just amazing to see this here at Indian Lake. What do, what do you think really separates this business from other businesses? I think definitely the pool is the main wow factor that we have going on. But also I think uh, we got pretty much something for everyone of all ages, of all different walks of life. Um, we offer a lot of bands. We offer a lot of karaoke nights for all ages. Um, we offer good food. I think everyone can be happy coming to Froggy's. Well, let's talk a little bit about the food that you have here. Well, I'm... We just kind of got special nights for each each kind of food genre. We've got a rib night, which is Thursday. Then we've got a all-you-can-eat fish night on Fridays. And then we've got kind of made-to-order pizzas that are amazing uh, every night. Well, one of the things you talked about was how the people who own this really take care of you. Yeah, I think that's what I really want to focus on is Keith and Deb, um, amazing owners. They genuinely care about their staff. I think it's really cool to talk to them and talk about their success stories of employees that they've had years, months ago, and how they still keep in touch. Um, I know when I leave, they still keep in touch periodically and, and genuinely care about everyone's well-being. Well, how can we get some folks here and uh, have them enjoy the wonderful pool and the live music and food that you have here? Well, we're located on the north side of Indian Lake. The address is 11065 County Road 293, Lakeview, Ohio. And then also you can find us out on the web, froggies-online.com. And then we're also on Facebook. Fantastic. Well, 
We're going to send some folks your way because this is a great place to come and enjoy. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Mike. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. ONAColumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to ONAColumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Zane Shawnee Caverns is rich in Native American history. Here you'll find camping, swimming, caverns, and a lot of history to learn. Lassa told us what makes Zane Shawnee Caverns such a rich historical experience. This place is so interesting to me. Tell everybody what makes Zane Shawnee Caverns so special compared to other parks in Ohio. Oh my goodness. Well, as you came down the driveway, you came one half of a mile off of the main road. So you are surrounded by wilderness, beautiful trees. Oh my goodness. It's a paradise back here. Well, I understand you also have camping here. Yes, we have over 50 different campsites. They're large, spacious. They're all in the woods, so you don't have to bake in the sun. Picnic tables, we have fire rings. We have areas where you can have an RV brought in with water and electric. We also have sites that just have water. And then we also have, back in the woods, our primitive campsites. What kind of unique experiences are people going to have here when they visit? Well, it's not just the camping. We have an underground caverns. It's three-eighths of a mile long. There are three different levels, but we only tour on the first level. We have two, not just one, but two rare cave pearl nests in the cave. And it's a living cave. Many caves you go in, they're dead, meaning they're dry. They may be beautiful, but ours is alive because it's dripping, it's wet, and Mother Earth is growing those crystals down there. How can we find out more about Zane Shawnee Caverns? Well, we'd love for you just to come out. We're only six miles east of Bell Fountain, Ohio, on Route 5. 540. You can contact us through our phone, which is area code 937-592-9592, or contact us online at zaneshawneecaverns.com. Visiting Indian Lake, boy, what some great changes that have occurred here. We stopped by Cranberry Resort. This has been through a total renovation over the last year, and it is fabulous. Brand new docks, a lot of entertainment, and a lot of great food with a new chef. We talked to Matthew, and he told us more. So this has underwent a huge renovation. So kind of talk us through what's happened here. We've put a lot of money into trying to make this a premier spot on the lake. There's been a lot put into our new docks, parking, just renovations around the board. And we're hoping to just kick off the summer, you know, with just a new look and letting people know that great time to be up here. Well, Indian Lake is obviously one of those lakes that's famous. There's so much history here and great now. And it's great to see this beautiful established on the waterfront. It, it is it is amazing. Now I understand you got a new chef as well. Yes sir. Uh, his name's Matt as well and uh, somebody that uh, is just very culinary talented. What we try and focus on is fresh food, quality, value. We've revamped the menu that way. I think we have a lot of new interesting items and you know, I'm just very lucky to have him on the team, along with the rest of our culinary talent. Seeing this come alive, it, it's kind of spearheading a new spirit here on the lake, if you will. So talk a little bit about that. Well, what I think is great about the lake is it's kind of a, a revolution, you know, or a new vibrant evolution of what we're doing right now. Um, again, a community that was established for a long time, but we have people coming from Columbus, uh, Springfield, Dayton, Finley, Lima, um, that are used to something a little bit different than what they've seen at the lake before and I think that's what we are spearheading and what we're helping represent and it's not just us it's the other businesses in the community we just really see that there is a, just a great growth. We'll give us some contact information for some of the folks who want to come from Columbus check sure. this out. Uh, you can contact us obviously at the phone number on the screen or at cranberryresort.com We'll respond to you as quickly as we can, uh, but please call directly, ask for me, and uh, we'll do what we can to make sure that we take care of you.
Like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news about upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's Facebook.com slash Out and About Columbus. Well, you know, whenever I mention 600 downtown in Columbus, everybody knows this place in the Bell Fountain area. And I got to tell you, the pizza is just amazing. But what's more amazing is the lady that runs this place. She has a lot going on. Just met with the President of the United States and has doing some wonderful things here in the Bell Fountain area. We talked to Brittany Saxton to learn more. You have always got something going on here, and you're just an amazing lady. We really enjoy uh, talking to you. I know recently you had an opportunity actually to go to Washington, D.C. and talk to the President of the United States? I did. I was able to go up and talk about jobs, acts, and reforms and his tax credits that he has given back to the local and small business communities and how it has affected our downtown and uh, my business personally with our staffing. You have a new addition that you're working on now, so tell us a little bit about that. I do. We have a wine cave expansion happening right next door behind the new WIT. It's going to be a Napa Valley centric zone where we're going to focus a lot of wines. We're going to have three tap beers, a small spirit section, but it's going to be an event center that houses about 100 people. Um, we have a lounge area and the full cave available for rentals starting mid-August. Mention this place in Columbus. Everybody seems to know it. They all know 600. What do you think the reason for all that popularity and fame is? Uh, I think that just word of mouth has been a huge draw for us. It's been a big push in what we do. We also stay very authentic to who we are and what we know. We stay right on target to just serve the best we can. We're also new on Open Table, which has put us number two in regional Columbus. So we're getting a lot more of the Columbus traffic for people who didn't know about us. We are now there. It's the best time to come in and not have to face the crowd. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday, anywhere all day long, those are the best times. Once Thursday hits, we kind of hit our weekend vibe and everybody's in for dinner. So Thursday starts our busyness. Well, give us some contact information. I know some folks from Columbus are going to come and taste this delicious pizza. Well, as I said, you can find us on Open Table now. We're also on Facebook, Instagram. We have the website at 600downtown.com. Or we have the phone number 937-599-6600. Brittany, always something good going here. So good seeing you and catching up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch, guys. Studio 31 salons not only offer top-of-the-line products and great customer service, they're also an environmentally friendly and sustainable salon. Gwen told us more about the products they use and how they help minimize the footprint on planet Earth. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at your place. Yeah. Well, we're an independent, locally owned salon. We just celebrated our 10 year anniversary this past January. Um, we, you know, we're a small team. We've got eight stylists, two receptionists, um, but we're all about customer service. I mean, providing awesome hair is, is a given, um, but it's all about the relationships that we build with our clients and trying to capture the audience. You know, Marysville is, is very fastly growing. You know, people want to get, um, good service locally they don't want to have to drive into columbus so we're really trying to be that space for for our community you are what you call a sustainable salon tell everybody what that means and how you're a part of that yes so so being sustainable means a couple things to us. Um, first of all, the hair care company, the line that we carry is Dove and S. Their tagline is sustainable beauty. Um, they are a very eco-friendly product line. Ingredients are very, very clean. And then we also partner with Green Circle Salons, which is a newer company that was the world's first and North America's only option to recover and then repurpose all of the waste that salons um, kind of go through. Tell us how we can find out more about Studio 31 Salons so we can come here. Yeah, sure. So we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, um, we've even got some Pinterest boards, um, but our website, studio31salons.com, will tell you everything that you need to know. You can read about the team, you can see pictures of their work, you can read their bios, so you can kind of get familiar and feel like you know them and see their work before you decide to make an appointment with them. Fantastic. Thank you again for coming on and telling us about your great business. Thank you so much. You know, everyone has a story to tell, and maybe it's time to tell your story. You can do that with Life Bio. We talked to Beth Sander, and she told us more. Good to have you and Life Bio on the show. Thank you. It's great Tell us here. a little bit about Life Bio and how it got started, and who do you serve? Life Bio helps people capture life stories, and we work with anybody to help them capture their story. We believe everyone has a story to tell, uh, and every person's amazing. So 
we help people all over the country capture their stories. Why would someone want to tell their story? People should tell their story because they have so much to say. They have memories and experiences. Things their family does, do not know about them should be recorded so that we have it for all time. Uh, and it feels good. People have stories to share that are just something that people want to have captured. And so LifeBio is here to make sure it gets recorded without delay and without difficulty. And then you put that together for them in, in, a, in a book? Or how, how's that? What's the final format? LifeBio puts it together in a final book form so people can have that book to share with their uh, family and friends. LifeBio is also online. So some people are tech savvy, some people aren't. We also have journals that people write in if they prefer that. We'll even interview people over the phone or in person. Yeah, that's unique. It's a very unique service. Let's talk a little bit about your help with uh, health organizations and what you're doing with them. LifeBio works with healthcare to be sure that people are known in organizations like hospice or senior living or hospitals, uh, even home care, because we just want to know who people are in those settings. It's very important to uh, capture their story too before it's too late while we have a chance. Yeah. You know, it's a unique service and it's something that I've never heard of. And coming in and looking at this, it's an amazing uh, opportunity for someone to really kind of track their life. And it, it is a beautiful thing. Um, give us some contact information where we can learn more and actually maybe contact you and do this. Okay. Just come to www.lifebio.com or give us a call at 937-303-4576. Fantastic, Beth. Great information. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. onacolumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. We know on our trip along the 33 corridor, we always like to find those new unique places. Well, we found it. It's called Tavern 161 here in Plain City. And they even added a new feature called Sweet Tea's Southern Style Kitchen. And it is just an amazing food. We talked to Jason and Travis and learned more. Give us a little history about how this uh, all came to be. Yes, sir. Um, I purchased Tavern 161 uh, February of 2016. Uh, we did a full remodel, about 3,000 square foot, front to back, uh, live music venue. Uh, we have 24 taps in the rear, four in the front, uh, two full bars. Lots of fun. The amount of craft beer that's made in Columbus, Ohio. We're like third in the nation now. And it's nice to see you've got that, that variety here. Is, uh, it, it, is it, is it uh, pretty active? Is the craft beer very popular? It is, absolutely. Uh, craft beer uh, tends to be trendy at times, but right now it's definitely hot, and we try to definitely feature local uh, breweries uh, here at Tavern 161. So what kind of live entertainment are you doing? Uh, we've had quite a few uh, large bands, uh, Shuck and Bubba, Reganomics, McGuffey Lane, uh, to, to name a few. Well, we caught up with uh, Travis, and uh, he kind of told us about his cooking, so here's what he had to say. Well, Travis, good to have you on the show. Tell us a little bit about Sweet Teas. Now, I understand you started with a food truck, right? Yes, I started with a food truck uh, about two years ago. Um, decided, you know, I wanted to get away, start my own brand. Started with that, and uh, within two years, Jason actually approached me with this venture, and we have Sweet Teas Southern Style Kitchen. Well, tell us a little bit about the food, man. That's what everybody wants to know about. Um, well, it's a scratch-made kitchen, so we do everything in-house. My roots are from the south, so I wanted to bring stuff that I grew up eating here to Plain City with Jason and Tavern 161. So we do everything from shrimp and grits to Nashville chicken and fried green tomatoes and Johnny Cakes with pulled pork. It's all fantastic stuff. Well, it sounds like some great food here. Give us some contact information for folks who like to come out and see you. Yeah, you can reach uh, tavern161.com. You can reach us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, or you can reach us at the phone number on the bottom of the screen. Well, we stopped by the Champagne Aviation Museum. This is where they're restoring a B-17 called the Champagne Lady, and there's a lot to see and do, and the best part, it's absolutely free. Randy Kemp told us more. Tell us a little bit about this. Uh, well, we're a 501c3. We're located at uh, Champaign County Airfield, it's a city of Urbana, and uh, what we've got is a uh, B-17. We're we're restoring, and we've got several other aircraft that we maintain and fly. Uh, we go to air shows, different venues around the state. They don't have to pay to get in this museum, right? 
No, we're uh, we're free. Uh, that was part of what uh, the the founders wanted. Now you're building up a plane, or actually restoring a plane, and you have a fund for that, and you're working on something there. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the B-17. It's a uh, composition of five different aircraft uh, components. Uh, eventually, it'll culminate as one, and uh, that's the Champagne Lady. Well, give us some contact information where we can come and see this and get some folks to come out and take a look at this. Yeah, we're on uh, State Route 68, just north of the center of town of Urbana at Grimes Field. Uh, our website, ChampagneAviationMuseum.org. Uh, the phone number, 937-652-4710. Fantastic. Thanks so much for being on the show. Well, imagine coming and petting one of these. You can in the Sturgis Petting Zoo here at Freshwater Farms. Of course, they're famous for their Fish and Shrimp Festival, and we had a chance to stop by and talk to Dr. Dave a few minutes about how the kids would enjoy this as well as the adults. Freshwater Farms, man, we know about the Fish and Shrimp Festival. Obviously, they've been on the show a lot. So what's happening out here right now? Well, we really upgraded our public exhibits. that are open all year round. You know, we're open six days a week. So uh, we have our new uh, big sturgeon petting zoo that uh, the sturgeon have really gotten large. They're over six feet long now. Uh, but we've also started to use the, the same stage and things that we have for the shrimp festival in September. We're now having monthly events during the summer. Yeah. So every third weekend of the uh, month now through October, we have music and food festivals going on. So uh, smaller than the Fish and Shrimp Festival, but a good time to get together and food tastings and whatnot. So, What are kids going to learn when they come in and, and actually see what you have here, Dave? That's a great question because, you know, I think one of the things they really learn when they come here, we try to encourage, is that hands-on contact. Give us some contact information. I'm sure we'll see you for the Fish and Shrimp Festival, but in the meantime, let's get some folks out here. Sure. All that stuff's on Freshwater Farms. We'll have a website at fwfarms.com. Well, Francis Furniture of Bell Fountain is a store that has quality furniture, but their main point is they love good customer service and they love educating their customers about the products that they sell. We talked to Alex and learn more. How long have you guys been in business? Give us some background information. Francis Furniture has been in business for 83 years, um, and I'll be the fourth generation serving the business. Boy, that's a long time. Well, that's got to say something about the business. It does. It does. We've been around for a while. Good quality furniture and excellent service is really what we try to specialize in. I understand that you are the only Lazy Boy dealer in Logan and Champaign County. Yes, we are. So that's been a really big draw for us is people coming in for their Lazy Boy recliners, couches. Um, it's just fantastic quality but it's so comfortable once you own a lazy boy you'll never go to anything else yeah. well, it's certainly a recognizable name yes yes very much so another brand i noticed you carry here is england and that is actually a part of lazy boy right yes it is england is owned by lazy boy and we let england do our stationary furniture it's very well built stationary that you can customize you know 100 200 different fabrics and you can have it in close as four weeks you know, I noticed looking at a piece of the furniture over there where they kind of take the covers and off and show you what's underneath. It's just amazing to see what is under the covers. Yeah, a lot of the selling that we do is just educating the customer. Here's how the quality is. Here's how it should function. And here's how long it should last you. So it's just really good to show the customer our competitions and then ours. Yeah. Great customer service and uh, a great line of furniture here, right? Yes, yes. And, you know, we look forward to serving the customer, giving them everything they ask for and being right there when they need us. Yeah, that is so important in today's world. You just don't find it that often, unfortunately. Yes, true, true. Well, give us some contact information where we can learn more about Francis Furniture. Well, you can check out our website. It's francisfurnitureohio.com. And then if you follow us on Facebook, Francis Furniture of Bell Fountain, uh, we post a lot of stuff on there. Just try to keep our customers informed of the sale going on and clearance items and whatnot. Yeah. Great service after the sale and a great uh, product line. Thanks so much for being on the show, Alan. Yes, thank you very much.